facilitator of Fortune Butterfly Senior Secondary School. Today, I am going to explain biology topic, the fundamental unit of life. What is a biology? How the organisms are formed? So, biology is a study of living organisms, both plant, plants and animals including human beings. So, study of the plants are called botany. The branch of biology dealing with the only plants are called botany. The plant, the branch of biology dealing with the only animals is called zoology. So, how the organisms are forming? So, there are two kinds of forms are there. One is a living thing, second one is a non-living thing. Non-living things and living things. Living things. Living things and non-living things body is made up of the tiny units is called atoms. The atoms together form molecules. So molecules like molecules like like nucleic acid, nucleic acid as well as Proteins, carbohydrates, these together form molecules. So, these group of the molecules together form protoplasm. Protoplasm will be forming from the protoplasm, group of the protoplasm together form what is that means cell will be forming. So, group of the cells together form tissues, group of the tissues together form organs, group of the organs organized into organism. So, finally, the organism will be forming. All living organisms have a complex body structures. Complex body structures is made up of tiny particles is called cells. The cell is a basic unit of life. The cell is a structural and functional unit of the human beings. So the organism's body is made up of only single cell. Those organisms is known as unicellular organisms. Examples of the unicellular organisms are amoeba, amoeba and bacterium cell. Next, few cell organism. The organism's body is made with thousands and hundreds of the cells. So those organisms is known as few cell organisms. Few cell organisms. Examples are what is the means of Valmex as well as Spirogaira. Spirogaira. So coming to the one more thing is multicellular organisms. The organism's body is made with millions and trillions of the cells. Those organisms is known as multicellular organisms. Multicellular organisms. So we are belonging to multicellular organisms. So here there are many parts in our body, like like blood, bones. So variety of body parts is present in our body. So likewise in plants also many parts are present like root, stem, leaves which is present in the parts of the plant body. These are all different from one to another. So even though it is different from one to another, so it is made with a tiny particle so which is present in the every living organism's body. It is called cell. So, the cell, it is a structural and functional unit of the human body. So, there is a history of the cell. The cell was first discovered by Robert Hooke. So, Robert Hooke, Robert Hooke, he discovered the cell in 1665. He was discovered the cell. What he was observed, he examined slice of the car of the bark. 
the slice of the carp which is comes from the bark of the plant so he was observed there are many compartments which is present in the inside of the bark each compartment is resembles to the honeycomb it's resembled to the honeycomb so he called as a what is little room little room was identified by the robert hook then after there is a scientist one more scientist so robert brown robert brown discovered the nucleus so the nucleus at the center of the cell there is a nucleus is present so this nucleus was discovered by the robert brown robert brown in 1831 so and one more scientist also which is identified so there is a so there is a there is a fluid general like fluid which is present in the inside of the cell both plant cell and animal cell this is known as protoplasm so the protoplasm term was coined by the farkinje scientist farkinje scientist it identified the protoplasm so after that many scientists so which is working on the cell they was discovered the many things so later two scientists so german scientist german scientist sliden sliden he is a botanist and swan he is also belonging to he is also belonging to german so sliden and swan he is a zoologist swan is a zoologist both are identified both plant cells and animal cells having huge number of the cells so both are together they proposed cell theory what is a cell theory what is a feature of cell theory so the cell theory is explaining every living organisms is made up of cells so cell theory as per cell theory every living here all organisms all organisms is made up of number of cells number of cells all cells are all cells are made up of made up of same chemical same chemicals same chemicals and same metabolic activities same metabolic activities all cells are comes from the free existing cells all cells are all cells are found from existing cells then later rodolf virchow after one year he proposed that all cells are comes from the free existing cells which is statement given by the rodolf virchow so likewise they are proposing cell theory so as per cell theory so every metabolic activities what are it is there all cells are made with the same chemicals so all cells are metabolically metabolic activity it is the same so which is a explain the cell theory so then after what are the main difference between the plant cell and animal cell so plant cell we are drawing here it is a plant cell it is a animal cell so what are the main differences between the plant cell and animal cell 
So plant cell mainly having cell wall is a present. Cell wall is a present. Cell wall is a absent. Cell wall is a absent in the animal cell. Next one, plastics are plastics are present. Plastics are absent. Centrioles are centrioles centrioles are. Absent, centrioles are present. Okay, so the plant cell, the outermost of the layer is called cell wall. The cell wall is a made up of in plants, especially the cell wall is a present in the plant cell, especially not only plant cell, bacterium cell. So it's a made up of, made up of cellulose. So the cellulose in bacterium is absent. So in higher plants, the cell wall is a made up of cellulose, cellulose, hemicellulose, hemicellulose, pectin, pectin, suberin, and lignin. The cell wall is made up of cellulose, hemicellulose, pectin, and superin. What are the main role of the this this cell wall? The cell wall is a giving protection to the inner whatever the organelles. So sometimes the water is absorbed by the plant. So it's a may not burst by the insect. So that reason it is a turgidity, rigidity which is a giving and a different shape which is giving to the cell by the cell wall. Next one, in an animal cell, cell wall is an absent but plasma membrane, plasma membrane or cell membrane is a present. What is a plasma membrane? The plasma membrane or cell membrane is a semi-permeable membrane. Semi-permeable membrane. So it is allowing some kind of substances only. It's not allowing the all. So through semi-permeable membrane or plasma membrane only, the oxygen and CO2 both will be exchanging in the process of diffusion process. What is a diffusion? The movement of molecules from higher concentration to lower concentration, both concentration will be equal. So through the in diffusion process, diffusion process. So next one, here one more thing is plastics are there. It's a main difference between the plant cell and animal cells. So plastics are so plastics are present in the plant cell. Plastics are absent in the animal cell. So plastics, so chloroplast. So there are three kinds of plastics are there. Leucoplast, chloroplast, chloroplast. Do you know leucoplast, especially the leucoplast which is present in the below the soil, especially to storage of the food. Storage of the food. Like rhizome, like potato, so which is in white in color. So due to that leucoplast only. So coming to the chloroplast. Chloroplast is a play a vital role to trapping of the solar energy to chemical energy. So which is involving in the photosynthesis process. Photosynthesis process. What does it mean? So the chloroplast is involved in the photosynthesis process. It's a unique nature. No organisms having to prepare the food material except only plants only. So coming to the chloroplast, the chloroplasts are involving in especially so the, the flowers as 
colorful and fruits having different kinds of colors. So due to that chromoplast only, the chromoplast is only a vital role to uh, exhibiting of the different colors. For example, take a tomato at the initial stage, it's a uh, white in color, next it's becoming green, so then it's a becoming different colors. Different colors which is by the chromoplast only. So the flowers will come in different colors as well as the fruits will come in different colors. So due to that chromoplast only. So coming to the another difference between the uh, plants and the animals are centriores. Centriores are absent in the various means of plants and various animals are centriores. Centriores are present. Centriores are present in the various means of here, so in animal cell, the centriodes, which is a farming, centrosomes, making. So in cell division time, the centriodes have played a major role to formation of the daughter cells in mitotic and meiotic division. So coming to the cell organelles. So there are different cell organelles are present in the varieties means inside of the cell. Thank you.